Hey guys, Shane here, Fugadec 3D Printing. Today, we're gonna do an unboxing and a first print with the Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer. Welcome back, guys. So, hey, I got this Monoprice Select Mini in the mail today, and I do have to say thank you to all of you watching this video. You're the ones that made this possible using Patreon, views through YouTube, my Amazon affiliate link pretty much funded this entire printer. So thank you so much for that. Let's get down to it and check it out. It's a box within a box. It's a plain cardboard box within a box. Okay, here we go. Thank you for your order. For new information and download user manuals, please go to www.monoprice.com, enter that in the search field, and share your experience. Ask support for help. There's a little booklet in here. Let's see what it is. All right, this is just their little, I guess a quick start guide, I guess. Yeah, overview, things like that. Um, well, it has a little quick setup in it, so let's get this printer out. Again with the upside down. Okay, we had some filament pop out of it. Looks like we got some power here. And we are upside down again. Another box, get rid of that. And there it is, nothing else in there. Get rid of that. I see this thing was small, it's tiny. Look how little this thing is. I mean, I'm not big, but man, it is small. All right, so we got our bone tube here. We're not switching the back. Let's see what came in these boxes. This is probably the power brick. That it is, so it's a laptop style charger brick. Of that so we're here all right so we've got our power cable which we will need here we've got a USB cable so this uses a micro USB cable which is very different because all my printers I currently have use the standard printer style I guess is what type B uh, USB cable Oh, look at this, it comes with an SD card. That's cool, I didn't know that. And there's a little, uh, it's a little hex driver in here for something. I wonder how big this card is. Didn't know it came with one. Don't need that. I do know where this goes, it just pops on the side. So that's your filament arm. Oh, look at that, and it comes with a little scraper. Not 3D printed, that'd be funny if it was. So first thing we got to do we put the arm on and we're gonna need to take off all this tape So if you can see all that Tape off the hot end Now there already is looks like masking tape on the Build plate which we can leave there all of the adjustment holes are not are covered, I should say, so that's different. There's the bed. Let's take this off the LCD because we don't need that anymore. So we already went there. So open the filament, open the accessory box, put the filament rack on there. We did that. Ensure the power is off, which is on the zero. Kind of funny they tell you that. All right, and we're going to plug it in. Plug the C13 end into the included AC power adapter. All right, so we get that into here. Let's plug this in. Now we can power it on. Look at that, works really quick. Okay, ensure the power switch to the rear is on, rotate, rotate the control wheel, clockwise move to the move entry. 
click okay and rotate the wheel clockwise and highlight home axis and it's homing the XY and now the Z and then we're probably gonna have to adjust the bed oh they use a belt tensioner in here so a lot of kits come with the belt tensioners but everyone says not to use them uh, I'll have to see what people say about this one now that actually looks pretty doggone close okay and now we're gonna turn it off slide a sheet of A4 paper or regular paper for us here and the extruder height build platform be 0 0.5 millimeters which is the thickest thickness of a sheet of paper okay let's get a piece of paper and make sure this thing is level okay I just had to cut the uh, tape off uh, I just put it around with my exacto knife just to cut the tape off the top of these hex screws so that I could actually get in there so now we'll try here and this front corner a little tight okay those all feel pretty good to me so next step is to insert the micro SD and turn this sucker back on so the micro SD is over here. And it clicks right in. Turn it back on. Rotate control wheel clockwise to temperature. Okay, and extruder. And we're gonna set it to the target temperature. So right now, well you click it once, it goes automatically just to 190. We're going to use their sample PLA that came with this. This is 19210, so we're just going to set this to 200, just to be, uh, just to be easy about it. And we're going to do platform, and we're going to set that to 60. That's normally what I set. Um, that's usually what I do for uh, PLA. So we're going to let those heat up, and I'll get this filament on there. Okay, we're just about the temperature now, so we're going to go ahead and we have our test uh, filament that came with it. We're gonna go ahead and thread this in all the way through the tube down to the extruder. Right about there. So now we're gonna to have to move the Z axis up so we can extrude some filament. So we're gonna to go to move, we're gonna to go to Z axis. doesn't give me any uh, doesn't tell you how far you're moving it which is interesting as you as you spin it it goes so that's interesting there okay so now we're gonna go to extruder and we're gonna extrude a little bit It helps if I go the right way. <laughs> Eureka! We have extruded filament. That's great. Okay, now we're going to go print, and it wants us to print their little cat. So we can do that now. We can go, we'll tell it to home the accesses. Well, I didn't do that, I went to the wrong one. Print cat.g code. Okay, we'll let this print and we'll come back after it's done.
Okay, so now that we made sure it works, we got two prints here. Let's finish going through this manual just to kind of see what they talk about. And uh, they tell you to pause the print once you start. And I can kind of just see as it's going along. This is not my first printer, but it's very good that they tell you that. They show you pictures here exactly on what's wrong, what's correct, and what's wrong again. So it's either too far, too close, or just right. And they're talking about your first layer, how it lays down. Now, for this kitty, it laid down a raft first. And I wasn't expecting that, but uh, so it's really hard to actually tell what the first layer is going to look like because of that. So, because the graft that they use is, is different than what I'm used to. I'm used to Simplify 3D's raft, which is super duper thick when it first goes down. I'm miss maybe this was a Cura raft, and it puts down very thin, very far spaced first layers, and then it starts getting uh, much more denser with the layers. So, anyways, it's glad it tells you that. Then it runs you through how to set up Cura if you don't have it. Cura is included on the SD card, the micro SD card, so that's great. You don't have to worry about downloading it. You can at least have that and get your feet wet with it. It is not the newer, like, beta one, I guess, the one everyone's using. It's 15.16 or 15.6? 15.4.2. So that's good. And then once you have the software installed, it walks you through how to go ahead and add the profile for your printer into Cura. And that way you can just go ahead and start printing right away because a lot of the settings are already in there for this printer. So another software that's included on the micro SD card is Repair Host. So you can go ahead and install that. It walks you through here on how to set that up and how to make sure that your layer heights and everything are configured correctly. Just follow through the guide and it's very easy to do. So that's their little book. Let's take a look at these prints and see how they turned out. So I did two prints, technically three, because like an idiot, I thought that the sample filament would be enough for the sample print. I mean, I guess I'm an idiot, but I kind of figured, hey, if you're going to include sample filament and a sample model, you should be able to print it. So I'm a little unhappy with that at least, but hey, I have some nice small rolls here, and you can see how I have this set up uh, going up into the monitor price. I didn't like, or at least with these rolls from Proto Paradigm, the $5 filament rolls, they don't fit on here very well, uh, especially with the extra supports uh, I printed to put in here. And I just didn't like the way it was rolling onto the extruder. I'm not terribly happy with how it is a it's perpendicular to the side here so the way that it has to pull filament I don't know it's kind of weird I'll have to see what other people have printed I know people replace this spool holder I'll have to get on and see on Thingiverse and see what people have done or check the Facebook group but anyways I just set this up it printed much better and this was making a lot less noise so uh, the so the first print was this little kitty um, and this is like little I think like good luck cat from China. I have one that runs on a battery when I lived in China, you know, and the arm goes back and forth, big smile. So, um, yeah, this is their little kitty. It came out okay. Uh, it's a 0.2 layer height is what it looks like. Uh, a little bit of drooping here underneath the one paw. Uh, that is a kind of a tough area. Almost looks like there should have been support under that because that part doesn't really join up with the main body. So that was okay. Um, there are some layer defects here with blobs so once it starts the new layer it actually pushes out too much filament and then it starts the round so you kind of have to dial in your settings for that but this is what was included on the SD card it just proves that it works I'm glad that it works everything does what it's supposed to do let's look at a print that I did so here's a model I did this is the little MOA head and I sliced this in Simplify 3D by importing the default, using their configuration tool and importing the default Monoprice Select Mini profile. And it came out okay. Again, we have the blobs in here. But for a 0.2 layer height, um, it's really, really smooth. I'm really happy with that. That came out really nice. And 0.1 will be even better in this. I can't wait to do that. And apparently 0.5 people said they could do in this. We'll find out. But anyways, I definitely need to fix some retraction settings to get the, rid of these blobs. But either way, this came out really, really nice. So, so far, the thing prints really well. So you can see here on the bed, it was white masking tape that came with the printer. But when I was trying to get the MOA head off and I tried using their little cheapo plastic spatula, this was not getting under it at all. And I was afraid to actually hurt myself or the printer by like getting it all of a sudden just like punching it in the face. So we dropped that. And I brought out my little putty knife that I had bought, oh, back when I first got my first G-Tech printer. And or I should say I got the G-Tech printer. And this worked out great, but I went, because it is a sharp metal edge, I went right underneath the tape, scraped it all up. But 
Either way, he came out great. I'm sorry, I didn't show the bottom layer on this, but it is perfect with the default settings in the Simplify 3D profile. So bottom layers are great. That means that my leveling on the bed is perfect. The nozzle height from the bed is at a perfect level. This came out really nice and smooth. And I will also note that the bottom layer here on the cat, even though this was printed on raft, actually came out really well. Uh, better than I was expecting because I can't quite dial in first layer on a raft in Simplify 3D properly. But this came out okay, so I'm glad to report that. So none of that recorded, great. All right, let's talk about the specs of this printer. If this is the first video you're seeing about it, yay for me, I don't know how I did it, my juju is working good, but this printer's all over the web, has been for years now. So we're just gonna go over some of these and let you know what it is. It is a 120 millimeter cube build space, so not a lot, that's what, 4.7 inches-ish? I read it on their website. Uh, it is a custom hot end with a max temp of 230 centigrade. It is, the throat goes all the way through and it runs through this great big heat sink. None of that recorded and my phones won't shut up. So now they should be quiet. Okay, if this is the first time you're seeing this printer is here on my channel. Yay for me for you getting this result. I don't know how I did it, but the juju is with me. Uh, this this uh, printer has been all over the web for a while, so uh, there's lots of videos out there about it, but this is the first one you're seeing. Let's go over the specs of it real quick. Uh, obviously, it is a all aluminum, all metal uh, exterior. The whole build is great quality. I mean, it is super sturdy. A little heavier for its size, but hey, it's really strong. It is a 120 millimeter cube build space with a custom hot end, and the throat goes all the way through this great big heat block, which is cooled by this fan, which also acts as a part cooling fan. The max temp on the extruder is 230 degrees centigrade, so you're not doing anything really above uh, a low grade ABS. Uh, they have a full list of filaments that you can print with this. They claim ABS, PLA, HIPS, PVA, PET, TPU, and TPC. The TPU is interesting because a lot of people have issues printing flexible filament with this. I believe there are a few mods out there that help make that a little bit easier but I haven't looked into that yet. I just know that I have seen people complain, or not complain, but just state that it is a problem, but that's common with a Bowden setup, so no uh, surprises there. It runs off of a 10 amp, 120 watt laptop brick, let's pull it up here, which runs the printer at 12 volts. So if you ever lose this, you can easily pick up one of those really cheap uh, 12 volt, 10 amp laptop chargers. They have multiple uh, heads on them and then you can slap it on this it's not a big deal but if you're under the warranty look into getting a new one now in regards to the hot end the motion of this printer can do 55 millimeters per second the movement speed so that's how fast you're gonna be printing and the max resolution is 0 0.1 millimeters some people say they can put print at 0 0.5 millimeters I'm sorry 0 0.05 millimeters they say they can do that I have not tried it yet myself, so we'll try out again. 0 0.2 prints out pretty nice. I would love to see what 0 0.1 looks like on this. So that's the basics of this printer, and I just want to say thank you to all of you guys watching this video. You're the ones that made this happen uh, via either watching me, just getting me views, uh, with via Patreon, using any of my affiliate links, mainly the Amazon one, which is what this was purchased with, which was Amazon gift cards that I received from you guys using my affiliate link. So please keep that up. I appreciate it. And let's make this channel awesomer. Okay guys, that's my little unboxing video and first print of the Monoprice Select Mini. This is a pretty sweet little printer. I'm glad to add it to my arsenal and I'm looking forward to doing a lot of work with it and have it be printing pretty much all the time with little projects that I have and testing out new filaments that I'm getting sent. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Let me know down below. Have you seen this video too many times? Probably, but hey, it's practice for me, so that's okay. You subscribe to my channel, hitting the button right here. Looking for a thousand subscribers. You guys can make that happen. We're almost at 700 now, keep it up. If you wanna support the channel, you can do that many ways aside from subscribing. Patreon's up here. You can donate me a dollar or more. I greatly appreciate it. Current Patreons, thank you guys. Big help, big help. Down below, there's several affiliate links now. Uh, I've got eBay, I've got Amazon, MakerGeeks. More coming in as I can get the program set up and as I figure out how to do all that. So use those and that helps me, again, purchase things like this. So you guys are awesome. And as always, 
happy printing.